started. Hmm. Goliath starts off with e4. Let's see. I haven't played a Sicilian in a while. Let's try one. Maybe try a con Sicilian. Uh, this won't be a con. Although we could um, accept the uh, Smith Moore Gambit and then do a con like a con like setup. Yeah, the Smith Moore Gambit is always pretty interesting. Yeah, let's start. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Let's see. If I start with the knight move here. It would be more like a time and off than a con. But I could still put pawns on a6 and e6 like this. Um, because I think this is some kind of setup. The idea is that you want the queen to go to c7 and, uh, you know, stop this pawn from coming forward. Now, how does this work? Place the knight here now. Here, let's put the pawn on d6. Yeah, there's maybe a problem on this square. Let's kick the bishop back. So what uh, what uh, black has gotten out of this, or white, what white has gotten out of this in exchange for his pawn is he's gotten a whole bunch of um, development moves. And uh, I'm sort of holding on here. Ah, and he's um, putting pressure on the C file. This is a slightly different strategy than usual. Often they come over here and put pressure on the um, D file. So I might be able to get out of the center alive. Let's we'll see. And just castle. In, in which case, I think um, a lot of my problems have been solved here. I need to unpin this um, knight so that I can play knight to e5 here. That would be a good square for the knight, I think. So maybe step by step, maybe rook to um, c8 first. Then uh, drop the queen back off the c file, but staying on this uh, diagonal here. And, um, and then getting the rook to this good square, getting the knight to this good square. Hitting the bishop. And the knight can also come in to c4. Trades. So I can double on the C file. Yeah, it starts to look like a, a, a normal Sicilian where I'm just a um, pawn up. Server announcement. A normal Sicilian in that I have this pressure on the C file. You can always throw in D or E, E5 there to try and disrupt things. Okay, so let's take the rooks off, right? Rook takes, how's he gonna take back? Or I could play queen to c7, but that's not threatening anything more. His rook is adequately defended, so I think just trading. Check. And then coming in with queen to c7. It, it looks good. Looks like um, I've driven his pieces back. And um, let's see, he doesn't have the bishop pair advantage. Both sides have a pair of bishops. He has, <clears throat> look, he has more space. And I have the extra pawn, so I guess that's the trade-off here. If I play um, d5 here, he maybe will just push on with e5. and my bishop might get a little bit locked out. If I try some knight maneuver, perhaps that's the way to go. Knight, knight um, d7, e5, c5 again, c4. 
and just starting with knight d7, you know, maybe even pawn to f5 as an idea to bust things up. Let's, okay, he's maneuvering his queen, he's getting it in a battery with his bishop, and he's also looking at my pawn on d6. So in this position, I could play d5, because if pawn takes, knight takes, no, pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, I can't actually play that, can I? Oh no, because it leaves the, the uh, bishop hanging back here. I can't play that. So that is pawn d5, pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, pawn takes. I'll have an isolated pawn, but he can't take it with the queen. Ah, oh, he's just going to offer the queen trade to try and unravel. I should accept that. Because after the queen trade, well, I still won't be able to play d5, but my... Um, one pawn advantage will be more significant. Here, let's think about one alternative. Is there a way to check on the back rank? Just thinking a check here to pick up the bishop or would be nice, but I don't see it. So he's he's blocked everything off. And um, yeah, I'm just going to bring my king in, I guess. Um, let's see. I don't have enough force to support um, e5 just yet. Let's play pawn to f6, king f7, then pawn to e5. Still not possible. Knight here. Oh, what am I thinking? <laughs> My pawn is just hanging here. What am I thinking? Oh man. Okay, so we're both we're both overlooking the obvious. Okay, I need to get this bishop out of the way somehow. So I can bring my king over. And, um, okay, so he's hitting my knight. Let's see, okay, so he brought his king over to stop my knight from getting active on that side. Let's drop back here. Okay, let's push forward with the F pawn. He takes, I take, it's okay. If his knight comes in here, I will trade it off. If he pushes the pawn forward, I will take it. Yeah. So his knight comes in here with check. And he doesn't play that way. So let's um, get my knight here. Now I can play knight to um, e4, supported by the bishop. I could also play bishop to e4, check. Yeah, this king could just come forward. It doesn't drive the king back. And, of course, he can trade, too. Hmm, okay. Maybe I should set this up a little bit by playing g6 here. Yeah, because when the knight moves it leaves that um, g7 pawn under fire even though it's defended by the bishop this uh, bishop would be tied down defending the pawn which would be kind of annoying yeah 
that. So he goes for the trade. Check. Okay, and I get the check in at a time when his king has to march backwards. Um, and I need to get this bishop into the game. So I guess bishop is going to... Um, I can't support bishop to this square. <coughs> Bishop f6 because my king can't go to any of these light squares. So bishop is coming over here to Aha. Uh -huh. That's true. He can go after those pawns. Hmm. 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 So that wins a pawn for white. But maybe it's not such a great pawn. Let's see, if he takes, I'll bring my bishop here. Well, maybe my king here first. Yeah, pawn takes king to e7. Pawn to g6. Bishop here. If the pawn comes forward again, I can take his bishop. And if it doesn't come forward, I can bring my king in slowly. Okay, so I have to get my king in front of those pawns. I think that's pretty important. Yeah, so he just gets his bishop out of the way. But now my king is here just in time to, to stop that pawn. And I'm going to play bishop to g7 here and just threaten to trade off his bishop. And, uh, yeah, I want to keep uh, the bishops of same color if I want to have winning chances. <laughs> we'll see. If I can round up this pawn, I'll still have the extra pawn in the center here. And if I can activate my king, there's still ideas. You know, this combination of this bishop here and this pawn here covers all these entrance squares for his king. So his king can't easily break through. And his uh, breakthrough on this side, here, yeah, let's force it then. Check. If he hadn't moved the Check. bishop, I had a pin there anyway, so he had to sort of give that up. Ah, now he can bring his bishop in. So let's think about this. I want to push this pawn forward, but then he takes. I will take. He takes. I take. And he's got an outside pass pawn there. That's unfortunate. Let's see, his king cannot penetrate here at all. So let's uh, let's maneuver a little bit. Maybe Where can I go with my bishop? See, if my king were here, and I placed my bishop here, and he takes, I take, and he pushes the pawn, I get back in time to stop it. If he pushes the pawn first, I take his bishop. Okay, so the real problem is going to be his king coming in. His king is coming into this square. 
So one, two, three, four. He takes my pawn, I take. And then he has this outside pass pawn. Wow, that's unfortunate. Yes, I can also put my bishop on uh, e6. He takes, I take, he pushes, I step back here and round up the pawn. But if he just goes king to f5, I think I have to um, stall for time. I don't think I can do anything active because if we go through that ex sequence, say king f5, bishop, e, king f4, bishop e6, bishop takes, king takes, pawn push. King f7, king takes f5, king takes e, or g, g7, and he's got the outside pass pawn. I mean, the material's even, but that, that pawn is a winner. He can also move over and scoop up this pawn. So I can't allow him to take the, um, the f pawn. So if he plays king f4, then I just have to stay here on this diagonal. I think I just move my bishop to... Uh, c8 and then back to e d7 stay there and if his king tries to come around this way then I can go back here to keep the king out I can play here uh, bishop f6 bishop takes king takes pawn forward king g7 Okay, let's start. Bishop f6, bishop takes, king takes. So his king is still back here. Pawn to g7, king to f7. Now he can bring his king one step forward. I take the pawn. He takes my pawn. I come forward. He can run over here for these pawns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To a queen. I can go after this pawn. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Actually, it's slower than him. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Where's my king at the end of all? Yeah, it's on g7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, maybe one step faster. Okay. And then what? What other ideas? So I go here. He takes. I take. He pushes the pawn. I go to f7. Brings his king forward. I take the pawn. Instead of taking that pawn, he could come to um, this square here. He could come to e6, threatening my f pawn. And um, I can't defend it. I uh, know I can. I can play king to g6, defending it. And he grabs here, or he, maybe he just um, yeah. He takes there. I come forward. He goes here forward looks like that race condition again let's <laughs> I think I have to try it <clears throat> well interesting endgame calculations let's see I would be queening on this square and uh, so his king would have to step off of that diagonal but that would be pretty natural so I don't think I'm going to get a check at the end. He queens on this square, so I have to avoid this diagonal. Or maybe he queens on this square in some lines. So I would avoid this diagonal. Yeah, actually, I'm taking the pawn. I'm taking the pawn on this diagonal. But his king is here, so he would have to step his king out of the way. Hmm, yeah, let's see. <laughs> I think he has to, to take my bishop. If he doesn't um, take it, then what? Then, um, then I can win his pawn, can't I? Say bishop here, and he takes... Oh, I can't play my bishop there. 
I can't win the pawn. Okay, so this is just going to be a draw, I guess. I can't attack any of his pawns. He can't advance with the king. He can place his bishop there. That gives up a pawn. Oh, he's going after this pawn, I see. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so let's uh, one, two, and then he still has to um, three, four, five, six, seven. But his bishop is here, guarding this diagonal. Um, I need to come back this way so that I can guard this pawn from underneath. A complicated, a complicated setup here. Yeah, he's going to win my pawn, so I don't have that as an option. Hmm. Okay, so I need to get over here quickly. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's going to uh, pull this one out, huh? That's interesting. So what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to get my king over to this side. I was willing to come in behind the pawns, um, but I need to come over here in some way, and he's kind of keeping me out. I want to get to this square here, the dark square, so when his king moves, his king can't really come forward in this position. I can sacrifice my bishop for the last pawn, so I think I should be able to hold this as a draw. See, I can come forward one step now. keeps his king from coming over here and attacking this pawn too. Okay, he's running low on time here. He should just uh, Check. start repeating or something. Something simple. Check. There, so now my king is here. And I think I can just sit there and just move the bishop back and forth. Is this uh, an end game that uh, I can uh, hold with the king and pawn end game? Probably, but I don't know. An extra pawn in the king and pawn end game is much more dangerous than uh, with the bishops on. So he's chased me off this diagonal. But I'm too far away. <clears throat> the one trick, you know, is you have to avoid certain situations with this pawn. For example, I didn't place my bishop here on um, this square because of... Uh, him putting the bishop here and then pushing the pawn forward, taking advantage of the pin. So this is a draw by repetition, right? Yeah, neither of us is trying anymore. Game drawn. Okay, well, that was a good game. Uh, I will upload that and <laughs> I'll see if the, see what uh, what I should have done there. He, he definitely missed that one chance when I left that pawn hanging uh, early on. Anyway, um, we'll see you guys later. Bye.